Good evening, and welcome to Terror Tuesday. I was 12 years old when a local woman was bizarrely abducted. It's assumed that she was murdered too. I didn't know her personally, but her tragedy changed my life. I grew up in Henderson County, Kentucky, where the abduction occurred. It was a quiet area full of friendly people. One summer evening, my mom arrived home and she sent me to bed. It was earlier than my usual bedtime. Unable to sleep, I snuck into the hallway and peeked into the living room. She was watching the local news and crying silently. It was strange seeing mom cry. She was a strong, independent woman who rarely ever showed her emotions. She kept the volume low and sat crisscross in the front of the TV. I held my breath to hear the reporters. They spoke of a young woman who was sunbathing by a local river. A male witness observed her abduction. The witness, for some reason, was watching from a distance, likely being a creep. He watched as a male snug behind her, snatching her by the hair. The man then dragged her into the woods while she clawed, kicked, and screamed. They didn't say she clawed, kicked, and screamed, but one might imagine that's what happened. The witness, probably terrified, called the police. The next morning, after a sleepless night, Mom sat me down. We talked about life, death, and evil people. It was our first adult conversation opening my eyes to the real world. Henderson County was different that day. Everyone's southern glow faded, and I didn't see their usual smiles. We were in the supermarket strolling through the aisles, whispering conversations about the abduction were all I heard. Each aisle contained a separate set of middle-aged women gossiping about their theories. My mom purposely avoided them, turning her card around each time. When it was time to check out, the cashier looked happy to see mom. They embraced with an awkward hug over the counter. My mom introduced her as her high school friend. I don't remember her name, but she was kind. The kind cashier began speaking about the abduction. My mom glanced at me and tried avoiding the topic, but her blonde friend kept talking. She spoke of the missing girl as if she was a friend of mom's. I don't remember what was said exactly, but I asked her about it on the car ride home. My mom broke down telling me that the missing girl was her childhood best friend. They had a falling out and they hadn't spoke for years. Her behavior made sense. She was grieving. Later that night, mom was called to work. As much as she hated leaving me with my grandmother, which was my shithole dad's mom, she had no choice. She dropped me off around 5 p.m. She was only covering a few hours, so I didn't mind spending time with grandma. Her house was near a small country-style park. She often let me run across the street to play. She kept an eye on me from a distance through the kitchen window. There were usually neighborhood kids playing freeze, tag, or football but not that day. It was completely vacant. I made the most of it. I played on the swings and went as high as I could. I closed my eyes and imagined flying. I looked across the street and waved at Grandma. Seeing I was safe, she smiled and walked to another section of the house. I closed my eyes again, and when I opened them back up, I was no longer alone. A red truck pulled into the parking space about 50 feet from me. When its engine shut off, I waited for another kid to open the passenger door. I waited several minutes to no avail. Finally, after watching the truck for about five minutes, a scraggly looking man stepped out of it. From the moment he opened the door, we maintained eye contact. He smiled weirdly. I didn't know what a vibe was at the time, but I knew that he had a weird one, whatever it was. He yelled over to me. Hey, I'm lost. You want to help me out? 
I didn't say a word. His smile disappeared, and he looked around excessively. Uh, are you broken? Did you hear me? I just nodded my head. I looked over to the kitchen window, but I didn't see my grandma. Where's your parents? When I didn't respond for a third time, he became annoyed. Come on, I'll take you back home. You shouldn't be out here alone. He began walking towards me. My heart stopped when his walk then turned into a hustle. I clearly remember the sound of his baggy blue jeans as he then power walked towards me. To this day, I still have nightmares about that specific part. In my dreams, however, I can't scream. I try, but my voice doesn't work. I also can't run. It's like I'm just moving in slow motion. He usually grabs me and covers my mouth, dragging me to his truck. I'm here typing this story, so obviously I was lucky. As he approached, I stood up and I screamed so loud that it stung my throat. He stopped in his tracks and he looked perplexed, almost impressed. I'm not sure, but I think he actually expected me to do nothing to sit there frozen like a game of freeze tag. Not three seconds went by when I then heard my grandma's voice. I don't remember the words she screamed, but it made the dirty looking man take his eyes off me, which was a relief words cannot describe. He chuckled, calmly lifted his hands as if to say, just trying to help, and then walked back to his truck. And when I say walk to his truck, that's exactly what I mean. And frankly, it was the scariest part of the experience. He casually slowly walked back with his hands in his pockets, staring at Grandma the whole time. Once he drove away, I ran back to Grandma and I clutched her tight. She called my mom, who was rightfully furious and terrified. She picked me up within five minutes. Mom made me speak to a police officer later that night, but honestly, I don't remember any of it. I just remember her being frustrated and calling the cop useless. She was a respectful woman who respected authority, but under the circumstances, I'm sure she had a reason to be upset. Since it's a real case with a real victim who I would like to respect, I won't dive into specifics. However, the possible identity of the man who abducted my mom's friend was released. He was found dead soon after suicide I think I'm not just saying this but his description actually matched the man who approached me at the park I'll never know for certain whether it was him or not but I have a feeling it was I'm sure with enough research I could find a picture of the suspect and compare it to the scraggly man at the park but truthfully I'd rather not know I know it's a crazy story and I know you may not believe it hell I don't blame you However, if nothing else, I really hope you research the case and pay respects to the victim and her family. My mom's gone now, but she'll forever be with me. Writing about my experience is therapeutic, and it really reminds me how good of a mom she truly was. Alright, alright, alright. <clears throat> so... There's our scary story for tonight. But now we will dive into Choo Choo Charles. All right, welcome back to Choo Choo Charles. Do 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 audio music off. Alright, we're gonna continue with our game Choo Choo Charles. And we're gonna take a look here at what's going on. Alright, wait for it to come up here, wait for it to Pop back into load back up. And here we are at the train. 
So I'm not sure if this is going to be the last episode. We'll see how far we get. There may be one more episode after this. We started Theodore's mission. Theodore's is the Canyon Keeper. What are we doing here? All right, let's... back up a little bit on this and go back up here. Yeah, this ought to be good enough. Right here. And we're just going to go down. Now, the problem is, and I, I guess this game might be too easy if we uh, actually had a gun, but if we had a gun, we could actually probably do more damage. Obviously, we can beat these cultists, but the way you have to beat these cultists is by actually sneaking around them. This one's quite tricky. Let's see where this guy is. You can actually... Da, da, da. Where is he? You can actually look through the boards here and they can't actually see you. I guess because they're dumb or whatever. here. The problem is you can't run. Oh, what's in this box? can't run while you're uh, trying to evade these people. I think I actually killed this one if I remember right. Because uh, he, ran, he chased me all the way to the train and then I turned around and shot him with the train. This one almost looks like you could actually take your train back this way. I wonder if there's like a lever or something that you could actually uh, take the train down this way. Thought I seen some scrap. See, there's actually railroad tracks right here that turn in this way. Yeah, see, it wouldn't work, I guess, because, uh, yeah, well, that wouldn't work. So we need to go see this guy here, which is, he's upstairs. How do we get up down there? I guess it'd be pretty ingenious if you could kill all these guys with your, uh, Hey, buddy. What's up? That's the exact box I needed. I just knew it. Now take these scraps and skedaddle. Skedaddle. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. I will skedaddle. Scrap. Scrap. All right, we got some more scrap. nothing in there all right our train is almost complete to be honest with you we are really close we got 50 scraps uh, speed damage not enough 28 scraps 28 scraps so I think the last level yeah we're gonna need 28 so fully upgraded so all right we're ready I think where are we going next? Uh, no, we can't do it there. Um, what's down here? Uh, we might as well go down there. Um, our only other alternative is down here. Uh, or up here. Now, these three blue circles, right here, this is to finish it. These three blue circles, here, let me get this thing going and uh, get it going here while we're talking. 
these three blue circles except for this one right in the middle here which is called finish it those are the ones where you find the eggs so there's an important egg down there then there is one here and then there's one all the way up here so we gotta get these three eggs we get these three eggs then uh, we can go to the finish it spot and we can kill Charles for good I guess I'm not sure how we can actually do it though if we don't have our train but you know I guess we can this is where we started right here this is the intro where you begin yeah that's where what's his name died Right out of the chute, he died. I haven't seen Charles around lately. Charles! Charles! Here, Charles! Maybe he doesn't like taking a face full of rocket. Is this what I'm giving him? Charles! Charles, where are you, Charles? You can always tell by the, uh... Oh, actually, I turned it off. I wonder if it starts playing if Charles appears. Oh, we're gonna want to stop up here. Yeah, we're gonna want to stop here, because we need to go up here and rotate this to the other way. Bam! Choo choo, baby. Choo choo. We're gonna go up here and go to the right. And we gotta go all the way around over to here. So I wonder because I turned off the scary music if we know if Charles is coming. I don't know, it's a good question. I, I don't know. That's that one place I stopped. Yeah, I remember going there. Hello? Hello? Pickles! No, it's not the pickles lady. Uh-oh. Is that him? Do I see Charles? Over here, Charles! Yeah, I don't think he's gonna come. Forty-six meters over there. And we can't run because that alerts the cultists that we are coming. I don't see any cultists. Keep an eye out for these cultists because they will just shotgun me to death. What's this? While mining the furthest tunnel, we broke through a wall into a large cavern. There's something strange here and we don't know what it is. 
were requesting that Mr. Warren visit the Southern Mine site at his earliest convenience to give us further instructions. Eugene, the team supervisor. Let's go down this right tunnel here. See what's down here on the right. For sure there's scrap, right? I guess nothing down here, right? Just an old dead end. Nothing. Shovels and boxes. Okay, just scrap down that right tunnel. Let's go down this left tunnel here. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting rabbit. Oh, I'm gonna pick a lock. Oh yeah. Oh! Oh, uh, that's two. Yeah, baby, what's in there? Oh yeah, green paint, green paint. I'm customizing the train. Okay, back to the main tunnel here. It's a dead end. I hear one. No, no, we screwed up. We screwed up. He's seen us. How far will he chase us? That is the real question. I guess not that far, huh? This is piece of scrap here. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Try not to alert the guard. I would figure he would walk out of that damn. He would come around that corner as soon as I stepped out of there. Shouldn't be here. <laughs> I 
Okay, well, it seems like he resets. So, I guess that's a good thing. Man, what the hell? Why is this guy always looking when I peek around that corner? What is it with this guy? Go away, bro. Go away. Dang! He shot me. He shot me. I'm a dying. I'm a dying. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. But okay, back out. I'm, I'm sure he resets at this point. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Stop right there! Ah! Yeah, take that. Oh. Dang it! Oh, how did I miss that one? Jeez. Take that, Charles. Want a little something in the face? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Bam! Take it, Charles. Here's another one for you, Charles. Bam! Right in the face! What you got, Charles? What you got? Looks like a whole lot of missile in your face. Oh, he got me. Really? Derailed. I'm so mad. So mad. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my goodness, where are we? So we gotta go back. Golly gee willikers. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. back up. I gotta look at the stupid train. It's gotta be fixed. Oh, we got a ways to go here because we were running from Charles. Keep going back. Keep going back. I wonder if that other weapon is any good. All right, here's where we're gonna stop. Got that green can now. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Perfect. I wonder if we 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 uh, we killed that guy, that cultist. So if we killed that cultist, then we shouldn't have any problems in here, right? Because we respawned in here. So I'll take that as a win any day. Charles, you can have that one killing me, because let me tell you, killing that cultist that might be the way to go. You know, lure him out and then uh, shoot him with the train. Okay. Oh, there's the egg. Oh, oh. I got an egg. Good lord. Yeah, baby. Ooh, crap. I wish I could have that torch right there. Give me that torch. At least I could fight with it or something. Oh, more scrap. Nice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Take that. No more scrap in here. Nah, no more scrap in here. Okay. So, we got one egg. Yay for us. One egg down. Two to go. That's what we need. All three eggs so we can beat this train spider monkey. I don't know what it is, but it's a train spider or something. Dun dun dun! Yeah, what you gonna do, Charles? I got one of your eggs. Oh, I need 28. Okay. So, tally-ho, let's go forward. We need to go. Okay. We need to go to this one. Right? That's one minor tomb. Oof. I 
that it's not all good. Actually, we're gonna have to stop up here because uh, we got the uh, the two the split in the rails. And I think we want to keep going to the right, to the left, to the right. Yeah. Okay. going to the left. So yeah, we're going to need to go to the left here, not the right. Forward we go. Alright, so the next one, we're going to have to go to the right. But I'm not sure... I'm not sure we really want to go. Whoops. I'm not sure we want to go to this one next. I hear you, Charles. I hear you. There he is. There he is. Here he comes. Oh my gosh, I missed. How did I miss? Take it, Charles. Take it again, Charles. Another one, Charles. To the face, bro. Charles. Bye, Charles. Oh, where are we? <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We're going up here. Because that's going to be a better, better place we need to go. I wonder if he attacks more once you have the eggs. As you get more eggs, more eggs. I gotta get that other weapon too, just to see if it's a better weapon. I think this is about as close as we're gonna get. Okay, there's a guy right there. We want to be careful that he does not see us. So we can't run. Can't run. We're just going to take a nice little stroll over here. Keep our eye on him. He's going that way. And we got in. Okay, so we're going to have to remember he's out there. And we don't do anything stupid like go running out there and then get shot in the face. They like to whistle a lot. I don't see him. I don't see him. So I think we might be okay. I didn't even pay attention to scrap. <laughs>
Well, what's in here? Hello? Make sure nobody goes near the egg. If you see anyone that should be there, shoot them immediately. No risk can be taken. As soon as it finishes, kill it and bring me the body. Warren C. the third. Oh, Warren. Oh, Warren. I wish I could take one of those picks. Walk behind this guy. Got another egg. That's number two. Oh, I totally. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> it is time to not go that way. Oh, boy. Grab that. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Went the wrong way. This is called Jumping Simulator. You'll never catch me! You'll never get me, Kappa! Never! Never, Kappa! Let me get that little piece of scrap there gotcha. out of my way. Nope! Nope! You'll never get me, Kappa! Got away. Yeah. So we got that one. So this is our last. Uh, actually, let's go get this weapon up here because this weapon is going to be of significance to actually have, I think. Hopefully, it's. Uh, hopefully, this is the best weapon in the game. I don't know. But it really kind of depends, I suppose, on. Um, you know, what it is. Hopefully it's something good. Uh oh, break, break, break! Arrgh! Might have to back up a little bit because uh, there we go. That should get us on the left track. Left track over to the right track. Actually. Yeah, left track over to the left track so we can go up here for this. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, perfect. It's going to take me on the left track. Oh, keep going. Oh shit. Come a little closer. Now don't be shy. I got a big rocket launcher for you. And I'm gonna blow you to guys. Oh my god. You're dead. You're dead. Here comes some more. Oh, he's dead. Come get some more. Oh my gosh, I missed. How did I miss? You're dead. Want a big rocket to the face? I got another one. Who's next? I guess that's one way to get rid of them. So did that damage me? That did damage. Oh no, it damaged the train. Oh, I'm short scraps. Scrap. Scrap nabbit. Look at this guy. He's like got a bobblehead going on. It's kind of creepy right there. Hey, buddy. 
I wish I could put that mask on. That'd be pretty cool. All right, what are we doing here? Mob stole a piece of the new weapon. Retrieve the parts and complete the gun. Well, I think I made a big enough noise and uh, everybody came out, so I don't really think there is any more people. I wonder where the parts are at, though. Let's go up in this tower to begin with. See what's up here. There's some more scraps. Oh, excuse me. What do we got up here? We got scraps. Huh? How, you, how you doing? We've been digging for over a month, and I'm beginning to wonder what we're really doing here. There are ancient stone ruins above ground, as well as ruins being discovered underground. Some sort of temple in a large cavern was uncovered at one of the other mines. Are we really digging for gold veins? I don't know. Why is this one red? It's kind of odd. I don't see any parts or anything. We're supposed to have some parts here we're supposed to recover. Oh, okay. What's up over there? Lightning. Okay, let's go inside here. Oh, there's a key. Well, keys are good. Scrap. So there must be a room somewhere that needs this key. All right, the real question is, where is it? Now, we didn't go down here, so what's down here? What do we got going on in this place, huh? Oh, that doesn't look good. This must be the... I don't know, that's kind of weird, and that's kind of weird. Alright, and nothing in there. What's in here? Oh, that's where the key went. Oh, looky here. Oh, hey there. Alright, equip it to your train. That was easier than I thought it was. Oh, hello. Can I have this bad boy, please? Please? No, of course not. Why can I have a shotgun? That would make no sense. Let's see what's upstairs. There's some more scrap. Alright, let's go see what this thing does on my train. Looks like an anti-air gun. Alright, so that would be this bad boy. Damage is three, range is, ooh, long range, slow, fire rate. Okay, let's try this bad boy. Can it overheat, I wonder? Looks like it can. Oh, it's on fire! It's on fire! Ooh, it cools down actually pretty quick. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Got nine scraps, six scraps. All right, so where do we gotta go? We gotta back up, I think. Back up, change the direction. All right, I got you. Back it up, baby. Back it up. Back that ass up. There's where we're going. Whoop, what's going on here? There we go. We're going too far, too far. Alright, let's grab this thing. We'll rotate this the other way. Thank you, thank you. And our train's like way down there. Because I jumped off while I was in mid motion. But I tell you guys, keep your hands and arms inside the ride at all times. So what's in here? Oh, baby. Scrap it up. Who doesn't love scrap? Who doesn't love scrap? I love scrap. I need 18 more. We're gonna go to the right now. Cha Ching! And we're gonna go down here. Because this minor tomb, the mob is protecting an egg and doing strange work near the collapse mine. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a try. Because sure, hey, why not? I don't know how this is gonna work. But let's 
see. so far. Open the door. Need that. Oh, this looks kind of ominous. side of that door. Okay. Careful. There he is. How do they see out of those masks, I wonder? He's coming back. Um, let's jump on the other side of this wall. Just so he doesn't see us. There he is. He's going to turn around up there. Yep. He's going to come back. He's going to walk right by there. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. He's seen me. He's seen me. You wish you never came here. I already wish I didn't come here. You can't catch me though. Oh, that gummit, he got me. He's still following me. Maybe I can try my new gun out. Hold on. Nice. <laughs> nice. Definitely worth uh, taking a couple of hits for. <laughs> I literally missed the first one, but I got him the second time. One shot. Oh, no. I don't want to fall. Oh, I'm hurting myself now. Come on. That was funny, though. That was... Oh! <laughs> All right, where are we going here? Um, that's some scrap, though. Oh, we're going this way. Wait, whoop, sorry. Sorry, Heather. Where is this place? Alright, well that's good. We got rid of the first guy there, so that makes it much easier. Now we can kind of get into this thing a little further. Got rid of this guy right here, which is basically the main guy here at the entrance. More scrap.
Okay, he's on the other side over there. So this game's get this weird feature that if you stay behind these boards, no matter how wide the gap is, they for some reason cannot see you. Which is doesn't surprise me because they have these weird masks and these weird masks have probably very little eye holes in them, but they seem to be able to shoot really good. Oh shit. Hey, get out of here. He's seen me. I gotta run for it. I gotta run for it. You're not gonna catch me, Kappa. You. No, you're not. You'll never get me. I'm too fast for you. Except I'm stuck on the earth. Stop right there! No, I'm not gonna. You can't make me. I don't even know where I'm going. I went the wrong way. I can tell you that already. I can already tell you I went the wrong way. Are they still chasing me? I don't think so. I think I'm good. I think I'm in the clear. I somehow got away. Lucky me. Ah, oh, man. Come on, baby, I gotta get this last egg. Dude, they must literally just like teleport back to their location. They don't even run or walk back. That's how fast they are. Crazy fast. I don't know where this guy's at anymore either. I don't hear him. Seems like a great idea. I think I seen one up ahead. I don't see anybody though. Oh, there he is. All right, what's he doing? Yes, Charles, I know you're outside. There's nothing you can do. You can't get into a cave. Let's see what this guy's doing. Here he comes. All right, well, let's... about 12 seconds on that.
There's about 15 seconds on that other side. I can't believe I walked down to a dead end. Good job. Man, come on now. We can do better than that. I should have probably waited the other Well, the other way I think is a dead end though. I think we gotta go that way. Scraps. Where are you, Charles? Let me look at this a little bit closer because I think I think we need to be up here because I think that would be closer. Go! Go, go, go! I mean, I think we did okay. I think we did okay. Where are we at, though? That's the real question. Okay, so we just need to back up. Yeah, I think if we back up here. Oh, my goodness. Really? Really? Not even fair. Not even fair. Forward, please. Not even fair. I say we do this. We're just going to go cross country here. Since Charles already attacked then I think what we're going to do is just kind of go like this. I don't think there's anybody in this camp up here. There's some scrap up here, though, so let's grab that scrap. Because people just keep scrap lying around. That's what happens in camps. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if we can get this right. Not very good at puzzles, so this is why we do not play puzzle games. This guy is going to come up and he's going to walk on my right side. Here he comes. Here he comes. As long as we stay behind the fences, we're good. No trespassing! Jump. What you gonna do? Shoot down? Ah, you missed me, brother. You missed me. Shoot the cable. I want to fall. Free fall. <laughs> so 
Well, getting out's going to be a challenge because he's kind of mad. Okay, that guy goes that way. I'm not sure exactly how to get past this guy. Because he's like 15 seconds down this aisle. Let's see what happens when he comes back up. Hang on, hang on. We're going to try hiding here and see if uh, he'll walk right past us. I think this is how we beat him right here. So he's going to come walking past us. There he is. Look at his googly face. He's going to walk right past us. Wait. Yeah, see, I think that's how we get past. This looks like a couple of dead ends here. So we got the third egg. All right, good job, good job, good job. We did it. It took many times of dying, but we did it. Oh, look, there's a chest down here. Maybe it's a shotgun. No, it's definitely not a shotgun. But hey, let's give him another puzzle to unlock here. Because, hey, why not? Oh, it's red paint. Yay, red paint. Okay, where's this taking us? place we'll probably get shot that's for the oh look at this it's taking oh, us at this guy holy moly I don't even know where my trains at I don't even know where my trains at where's my train just running into the middle of the woods probably running the wrong way Bob and weave Bob and weave. That's all I can tell you. Bob and weave. I'm gonna shoot you. Nope. I'm bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. Oh, I know where this Take is at. Out. I know where this is at. I'll take that. <laughs> Always take time to stop and pick up the scraps. Oh, it's up here. Where is it? Over here. Okay. We gotta make it there before Charles finds us. You'll never get me, Charles! You'll never get me. Too fast for you, sucker. That kind of sucked that they just kind of threw me out. <laughs> that really sucked. I guess the alternative was to go back the other way and go through all those guys I, I bypassed or pissed off. Guarding the exit, were they? Let's see here. See? Yeah, I made it, baby. 31 scrap, speed upgraded. Oh yeah, where are we going? Okay, so we're going to the, oh, uh, we need to go backwards. Just back up, back up. Back it up. Back it up, back it up. Back up to here, and then we're headed down here. This is the final battle, baby. Are we ready? Are we ready? Here we go. Actually, we're not going to go yet, but we're getting close to going. Okay, there's the... Stop. Whoops. Go forward.
to the left, to the left. And we are going right here. That's where we're going. The big finale. I'm going to save you, Pickles. I'm going to save you. Shit, where did he go? I lost him. I don't know where he went. Oh, there's one over there. supposed to do here. All I know is that the three eggs are supposed to go here. Here we go. Final battle. Boom, boom, boom. Three eggs, baby. Three holes to put the eggs in. That looks good. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that looks good. Next. All right, there's number two. Here comes number three, baby. Oh, I hear Step Charles. away from the shrine, stranger. You don't know what you're doing. Just put the egg down slowly and lay flat on the ground. You'll hurt far too many people if you follow through with whatever you're planning. Bam, baby! Here we go, here we go. No! No! You fool! You do the fool! I ain't got no way to fight, Charles, so what you gonna do, Charles? <laughs> Get him, Charles! Get him! I guess we're headed back to the train here, huh? Put that bitch in gear! Let's go! Charles. Where'd he go? Oh, I think he's pissed now. I think he's pissed. Don't do it, Charles. We can talk about this, Charles. Oh, he got me. 
I think when he when he when he uh, backs off, I have to turn around and heal the sh heal the uh, uh, heal the train. I think that's what I got to do. Because I got to keep the train healthy enough to keep fighting, and I don't think I'm doing that. I don't know if I have enough scraps to even do that anyways. amount of scraps. See, that's a problem. Excuse me, I think you gotta keep hitting them in the face and it backs them off. I think that's how you get them. <clears throat> of course, that probably does the most damage, to be honest with you. Okay, we're at the train. I only have one scrap. See, that's a, that's a problem. <clears throat> so, do I... I have the three eggs. Okay. Three eggs and one scrap. So I need to literally find more scrap. <laughs> I can't go through that fight without more scrap. That's a problem. Because I need... I need the scrap to fight Charles. So just literally no scrap up here? There's one. Yeah, I'm gonna need at least 10 scrap to fight him. help shooting these guys will probably help me Beat it. hey like that so I need to find I got two scraps two scraps is all I have I need those scraps to fight Charles so give me some scrap please oh shit so that's a bad idea to go that way
nice. Tell me there's like a hundred scrap in here. <laughs> I need it. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. I will take all that scrap. What's that, a suitcase? My friend. You can't get me. No siree. I'm the gingerbread man. Seven scraps. Can we stay alive long enough to beat these guys now? tune they're whistling. It's very catchy. Alright, that's probably, what, nine now? There's ten. Uh-oh. Here comes Charles. into the action scene. I think I got 10 scraps. I think that'll be enough for me to win this scene or win the, the win the fight with Charles. But we're going to give it a try. You don't know what you're doing, sir. You don't know what you're doing. Baby, put that in there. You know what's gonna go on. No, no, you fool! You fool! You us all. all.
face! Get him in the face! That's a trick with him, really. It's just, you gotta keep hitting him in the face. You gotta let your gun kind of cool down, and you gotta keep smacking him in the face. Because I don't think he's hit me once. There it is, there's one. He stays at range. If you hit him in the face, if you, you hit him in the face, he stays at range. That's definitely why you need this gun. Because this gun is, it fires fast enough and does enough damage. Keep him at range, but to actually do the damage you need to kill him. No, oh, he's pissed now. He is pissed. He's done now. What you got, Charles? What you got, Charles? Oh yeah, I forgot the bridge, bro. The bridge. That's the end of you, Charles. Take it, brother. You're done. Oh, that looked like that hurt. Right to the face, no less. Right to the face. That's it, brother. That is it. I tell you what some of the best money I've spent on a game in years right there this is it that is it right there you want to play a good horror game not spend a lot of money and have a hell of a good time best money I've ever spent and it wasn't $60 it ain't five bucks either but you know you catch it on Steam on sale you get it for about five bucks but it's like a ten fifteen dollar game it's definitely worth it definitely worth it and I will tell you right now that this is it doesn't get any better than these type of games right here you don't need to spend a lot of money to get a good game oh no there's another egg there's always another egg why is there always another egg is that Choo Choo Charles too? Is it going to be a baby Charles? It's a baby Choo Choo Charles. Come on, baby Choo Choo Charles. You can do it. Come on. I guess it's not going to hatch yet, but that's the... Prelude to Choo Choo Charles 2. You know there's going to be a sequel. But I hope I hope they don't lose track of what they did in this game because this game was good. It was definitely a good game. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys being here. That was Choo Choo Charles. I guess that is the finale of this. And I thought there might have been one more after this, but it appears that we finished it this time around. So I want to appreciate you guys being here. Remember, we're here 6 to 8, Monday through Friday. On the weekends, we're here 7 to 11 in the morning. We may do an afternoon stream or even a Sunday stream, but you can catch us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Trovo, all at Solid Snake TV. Look for us on our website, solidsnake.tv. Thanks, guys, for being here. Have a wonderful night.